Uh, we lived here, I don't know, 20 years. And my dad, when he built this house, well, the gas crisis was going on, I don't know, in the 70s, I believe. And uh, so the house was built with a wood burner, uh, electric radiant heat, and a wood burner system, two systems. And uh, so I'll show you the wood burner system. I know that ecologically there's a lot of people upset with, a, with the carbon dioxide comes off of it. I believe that's carbon dioxide. And they kind of frown on it. But a wood burner is the most comfortable heat you will ever have in a house. In fact, when we moved down to our other house, my wife was constantly saying how nice that heat was down here compared to what that house is. Uh, the geothermal unit is nice, but it doesn't produce the same kind of warmth and heat that a wood burner does. I want to show you how we stored our wood when we lived here. This was three sections. First section, third section, second section, third section. Each section holds about six and a half cord of wood. Three years of wood. It, uh, we burn, if we burn 100% wood, which we did uh, at the house, you would burn about one section in here, six and a half cord a year. So we have three years of wood that we had stored up in here. My son doesn't burn like we do, so he's a little slow at getting wood out. And I think he's cleaning his other barn out, bringing some of my old stuff out here and getting it out of his sight there. But this is how we stored our wood. Uh, we went out, we had a trailer that we hooked up to our utility tractor here, a four by eight trailer with sideboards, and we could haul about a quart of wood into that every time up to the house. Every month or so, we, we take a load up there. And we'll show you how we have that set up in the garage so we don't have to go through the yard and we don't have to put ruts in the yard and we don't have to unload outside. We will show you that system right now too. When we would fill up that uh, 4x8 trailer and uh, we basically left two sideboards on so it filled about three quarters of a quart. We would pull in here, back the trailer in, and this is the spot we would unload. It could be raining outside, snowing, anything. And it was very pleasant, even if, especially when it was snowing, so you could look out how pretty it was. So we would unload the Parker trailer here, and Dad used to unload outside, but he took the time with a carbide drill, tip drill, and he cut this section out and uh, formed this to where when you unload your trailer, all you do is throw your wood into this chute and it goes into a bin downstairs. Now we will go show you that bin. This is the wood bin uh, all sealed in and everything where the wood just drops in here and uh, makes it easy access. Uh, we've got some protection up here for our plumbing that the, the wood doesn't bang it around or anything. Uh, but we just pretty well fill this up to about four-fifths of the way that would hold us for a good couple months or so. Uh, the door, Dad designed it so that he's got numerous boards that slide in these slits. So uh, when we go to fill it up, we put all the boards in, seal it off up to here, and uh, load the wood in. And then as we lower the wood, we take a board out. And then uh, it goes lower, we take another board out. So that was a nice setup. Uh, right here is what we use to transport the wood to the stove, made it nice and neat. Uh, just took a dolly, put two trash cans on it. Uh, every night we fill those up, every day we fill those up and just roll them on out to our stove. Our stove is a rail burner, a tool maker, journeyman tool maker, uh, companion of mine, Jerry Rail built these during one of the recessions when he was laid off. Excellent burner, uh, very nice, uh, brick lined, heavy as heck to get down in the basements, but this really puts the heat out. Uh, you can put enough logs in there, if it's hardwood, fill it up, it'll last till six in the morning for an hour. Uh, the heat goes up through a register right above it, and there's outside registers over there that has a return circulation along with the stairway that allows the, the air to circulate and this did a tremendous job of heating the house. Uh, very little dirt, 
Uh, we had to clean the ashes out. My wife did that once a month or so, and uh, in a bucket, metal bucket, and uh, had to carry those outside. But as far as cleanliness go, with the system that was here, very, very little dirt, uh, and uh, uh, burner was airtight to where it was really heating. It would really cook. You could see where it actually cooked to where it almost got red hot on some spots here. It's that good of a unit. Uh, brick line fireplace all the way up, clear up to the roof. Uh, we had the job. I usually, in the spring, go up with my uh, chimney sweep equipment, long poles, uh, go for clear from the top of the ceiling down to here. Uh, around back, we've got a, a door that opens up. You can scoop out your ashes. I would get... Uh, that was creosote we scooped out, wasn't it? Well, creosote and ashes. Uh, but you clean the chimney uh, with a system we had with, with real hard bristled brushes. I would take probably a, a five gallon can of, of stuff I cleaned out of there and spring out and do it again before the season just to make sure it was clean. And I'd take out another maybe three quarters of a five gallon bucket of, of material, creosote, whatever. But we twice a year we cleaned our chimney here just to make sure everything was okay. But the chimney is completely fi uh, uh, fire brick lined all the way up to the ceiling. And uh, we've never had a creosote fire here. And uh, just one of those things. Now I don't know if they even allow people to put fire burning stoves in their house anymore. The laws are changing everywhere. Uh, but uh, I'm sure they grandfather the old ones in to where this is extremely useful. But there'd be times we'd have company in the winter where we'd have to open up the doors and the windows because the heat was so good that you just had to get that heat outside and get it cooled down upstairs. So This that, was done in 1980, they built this. This house was built in 1980, and evidently that's pretty close to when the gas crisis was uh, in the country. And, uh, but the house is designed properly. Dad did a good job on the design, and uh, it's, uh, it's a nice place he built. Uh, we lived here for how many years? But that's the wood burning system in the house. Uh, maybe you'll get an idea or two if you want to go ahead and do it yourself. You need a good, good wife that will help you maintain things. You can't have somebody that's just not quite a low energy person. You can't have a low energy person for a wife with a wood burner.